wonderful. Ah, oh, visual of both bunt ones. Yay, look at this. Hello, gorgeous. I'm sorry if I gave you a little bit of a fright this morning, although you don't seem to be any the worse for the wear. Giving a little, I think it's a little daughter, a bath. You know, for move, where are you going, girl? Is she going off once again? Or is she just going to go? Yep, she's going to go lie down. So one little cub is here, tail twitching, none the worse for its encounter with a human being on foot this morning, next to Mom's kill, and one up in the tree. My suspicion would be it's the little male. <laughs> just going off behavior that we've seen. He's bigger, he's much, much bigger, and he seems to spend a great deal of time eating, as all teenage boys do. He's a growing little boy. He's already, at, I think, about a third bigger than his sister. And he's thoroughly tucking in. So there we go. Mystery of the morning is solved. Karula did not leave the daker to go to waste. She did not forget where she put it. Not that I thought that she would, actually. And luckily for her, despite the fact that a bird had knocked it out of the tree, she managed to return in time before the hyenas had managed to find it. All in all, it's worked out very well for the royal family.